With a number of cross-border crimes such as human trafficking and drug trafficking, money laundering and arms smuggling taking place in our waters, Marine Customs officers have sharpened their skills in protecting our country. They've been working in the Marine unit for the past two years and have now completed additional training with the U.S. Coast Guard. Applauding this step was Acting Prime Minister the Honorable Peter Turnquist, who noted the important role those Marine officers play in protecting the country's revenue from tax evaders, the interdiction of illegal contraband, and smuggling activities. The Marine unit was re-established in February 2015, and now have a complement of 19 officers, of which 11 are deployed in Grand Bahama. However, this is clearly not enough for the unit to adequately meet its mandate, and as such, we will be in discussions with the controller and the senior staff of the Customs Department and how we augment this staff in the short term. I have also followed through with the recommendations of the Customs Department to furnish the department with the uh, resources that it needs, with additional equipment to ensure that the members of the unit can carry out their task in a safe manner. There is no doubt that the government of the Bahamas fully supports the modernization of the Customs Department and will continue to invest in strengthening its infrastructure. The United States Embassy facilitated the course and the U.S. Coast Guard is expected to offer more training in the future. Commanding the Marine Customs Officer, sirs, pardon me, were U.S. Charge Day Affairs Lisa Johnson and Customs Controller Charles Turn Turner. Today's graduation is a wonderful, tangible example of what we're accomplishing through the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative. By increasing your unit's skills and capabilities, you will become more effective in at-sea interdiction work. With Bahamian waters patrolled by Customs Marine Unit, alongside your colleagues on Defense Force ships and Police Marine Support Services boats, there will be less incentive for smugglers to use these routes to transport narcotics, people, and weapons through the Bahamian archipelago. In 2017 to date, 11 vessels were seized. In Grand Bahama, a total of nine vessels were seized. The establishment of Marine Unit in Georgetown and Exuma in April of 2016 has resulted in the seizure of six vessels. To date, the Marine Unit has been directly responsible for approximately 793,000 in revenue deposited into the public treasury. Officers, you are to be commended for your efforts.